Hi guys, this is Todd again from 1-800-POOLS. Uh, today what I want to do is I want to uh, do a product review on the Polaris uh, 380 pool cleaner. Now it's a, it's a pressurized pool cleaner. Um, I've had the thing for about a year and it, I, I kind of like it. There's, there's a few things I don't like about it, but for the most part uh, it, it's a great cleaner. It's a nice compact size cleaner. Uh, it does a hell of a job. I mean, I, I think it it really does well. I mean, I can put the thing in for three to four hours and it just cleans the, the pool like crazy. I mean, I don't have to do anything else to clean it. It's a pretty cool looking unit. It's got three wheels. And I, I think the wheels are designed this way so it's able to crawl up your steps a lot easier. Okay, but um, this is a pressurized type pool cleaner which means that you have to hook this piece of it up and it's got to be this is the kind of cleaner that really has to be installed into a pool an in-ground pool when it's being built and that's why this one was anyway um, but this goes into a special fitting that I'll show you that um, and what happens is pressurized water from your filter um, comes out of this and powers this whole thing. It pressurizes through here, powers the wheels, okay, powers this, this tail right here, all right, um, which I'll show you how it works. And what it does is it forces water up through, through this bag and creates a suction down here, see? Okay, and uh, it's real, real easy to use. This pressurized hose right here, okay, uh, is long enough and it's it's situated for my pool here um, so it can reach every angle of it so it's pretty long actually now here's the piece that actually fits in there we go right here here's the piece that actually fits into the pool and it's got a special uh, quick disconnect fitting okay um, and then it's got a small little filter here as you see okay and that just prevents any kind of any kind of crap that gets in there uh, and, and you know let's say that uh, your filter doesn't actually filter something out so that's what that prevents that for and then the only other thing I want to show you on this thing is on this back of this hose we've got this little apparatus okay see it right here oop, oop, oop. there we go and what that does is this thing has a predetermined pattern that it goes around the pool and every three or four minutes what it does is it automatically stops running, stops moving and then it backs up for about a minute using this this thing and it, it'll just stop and then this thing takes over and it just water water comes out of this back part of this here oops 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 there we go out of the back part and it just it just pushes it back it pushes this whole thing back and I'll show you how that looks when that happens. But let's hook it up now, and uh, and I'll show you show you what we got to do. Where we connect it is there's a uh, an outlet right down here, and that's where that's where the uh, water comes out, the water pressure. Now, right now I feel a little bit coming out because of the the pool filter is actually pushing it out. But this thing also has a booster pump, um, which you know just applies more pressure to it. And, how, and that's how it operates. It couldn't operate on just the pump power. You have to have a booster pump with it. So I'll show you a picture of the booster pump in a second. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect it in. Okay, and it's just a little quick disconnect. And connect, so I just, you just turn like a quarter of a turn. That's in, okay? And then I put the unit in with uh, the, whole, the whole mess, the whole enchilada. And uh, I like throwing it in. Uh, I do that with my kids. It, it's, it's a legal way I can terrorize my kids. I throw them in the pool. But I throw this in the pool just like I do my kids. Okay. And put this whole thing in. Okay. And then what I do now is I turn the booster pump on. There you go. And you see the, the hose flinched. Now it's starting to clean. Now I'm going to let it run for a little bit and then I'll show you how it looks when it's, when it's going. Okay, so now it's running. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna go over here and show you where the booster pump is. 
and you may have seen it before in, in some of the videos we've done. But that's what it looks like right there, okay? And what it does is it just takes water pressure, okay? It breaks it off from the, the return line, which is, this is the return lines going back to the, going back to the pool, okay, after it's clean. It breaks off of here, all right? And then it supercharges it and actually brings it to the, it says cleaner line. That cleaner line is where we hook up the uh, Polaris. Alrighty, look at that. Now, here's a little seating area that we have on our pool. And uh, it's not going to make it up there, obviously, I don't think. It might. Now it's stopped now. Now it's going to go backwards. I want to show you this piece. That little thing right there that you see, it's going to start moving it backwards. And it just, it, it's going to fall down. And it's just going to yank it backwards. That's what it's doing now. It's moving back. See it? Moving back. It's, it's going to yank it backwards. It's stopped. And then it'll go back a certain 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 amount of time, and then it just start up again, and it completes that cycle, you know, as long as you're running the uh, cleaner. So I just want to show you that. that's a pretty cool little thing that it does. So you never have to worry about it getting stuck anywhere. This is cool. Look at this. It's coming up the step. It's gonna get me wet, maybe. Sometimes it does. Oh. Nope. There it is. It's just straddling the step barely, but it'll actually go up those steps. It's really cool. Very cool. There it goes, see? It's going up the shelf. Almost making it. Oh, it's, it might get stuck there. But that's what that's also one of the reasons why it, every once in a while it has to go in backup mode because you get into situations where it does get stuck, you know? And that's kind of like a precaution because it'll pull it out, whatever it is, you know? And then we just disconnect this. Pull it to turn. Okay, right back up. Now I want to show you something. It's that one of the annoying things, but it's not that bad though. Is you know all these these little sections here, you know, are connected, you know, with, with the hoses, and he's got these little spin arounds, you know, so it doesn't get tangled all up, you know. And what happens sometimes is these things loosen up, and then the hoses pull off once in a while, and it's no big deal. It's just kind of more of an annoying thing. But uh, you know what I do is. What I've done this season, anyways, when um, you know before the season starts up, and the first time that I put that I clean the pool, I just I just check all these connections to make sure they're tight. They all loosen up after a while, and then that's really it. It's really the only bummer thing, really. I, I may, may mention a few things, but that's really the only thing I can think about that I didn't like about it. Now, when you pull these things out, you're not supposed to pull them by the hose. That's what that's what they told me when they when they showed me how to use it. And um, it's a little phone thing. They were telling me these wear out after a while. Uh, but that's about it. He says they've been very reliable, very reliable units. And then of course this bag will fill up. All right. This bag fills up, and they're easy to take off. Just connect it from here. Disconnect it. And then we've got these two little side clips here. You push them in. This comes off, and then this has a zipper on it. Which unzip, remove all the all the debris that's inside there. But uh, that's it. I mean, it's been it's been very reliable so far. Um, he was uh, when they introduced me to it, they showed me how to use it. I asked them, well, why they use these units? Why don't they give you robotic ones? You know, he says that these are really reliable, and they don't they, they have very few problems with them. Um, so I mean, that's really all that all you needed to, to do. Um, there's one other thing that you always got to make sure that uh, it's in the right position to make it work right. And there's a little jet in the back of this thing right here that actually helps guide it along. And it's, it's movable. You can put it in different positions. And they recommend putting it in the 11 o'clock position and leaving it there for the most part. Um, and I think that what that does is that helps to give it the right uh, uh, propulsion to actually help it get up. Um, you know the steps and stuff like that, but and, and that's really it. I mean, nothing else is, is, is uh, you know, nothing, nothing else has really happened with it. And like I said, I, I recommend it. Uh, it's a great unit. 